Good morning. It is... Oh, awesome. My, uh, my next supervisor is going to be here at 1030. Yes, we are still on supervision. In fact, I just got um, some not so great news yesterday. So it's been six weeks that we've been doing this. And I've been trying my damnedest to be patient, to let things run their course. And I don't know, at that six week mark, I just felt very much like I had to do something. I had to make some kind of like a change, some kind of progress forward, I don't know. So uh, me and my mom, we trucked on down to the CPS office. I didn't even let my caseworker know that I was gonna be there. We just like came and asked for her. Luckily she was there. We did get to talk to her. She was kind enough to sit down and explain things to us for, I don't know, we probably talked for at least 30 minutes, but that's basically the only good thing that happened. Every bit of information she gave me was not at all what I wanted to hear. Um, it was, you know, I was curious as to what their process is. Do they have deadlines? And the short answer is no. Um, even the deadlines that are in place, everything can be extended. Cases, she's had cases take six months before, very like kind of similar to ours where there's a medical explanation, but they wanted to make sure it wasn't abuse. Um, I really, really hope it's not six months. I really, really hope it's not any more months, but, um, it was a pretty, I would say low day for me, for us. Chris got mad. I got sad. Um, everyone's tired. Everyone's angry. We are, our family and friends are, our supervisors are, like, and... At this point, I guess it's just about like readjusting our expectations for what our life looks like. Um, because that's that's like kind of what we have to do. I can't just keep treating this like a temporary thing because it's looking like it's it's gonna last quite a while. Um, so I wanted to kind of just like film a little bit of what it's like to live under supervision or whatever because I I guess so far I've tried to make it look very normal when I film but it's not exactly normal um so right now Bobby's sleeping which isn't normal because it's 9 55 and she decided to wake up at like 7 30 and she doesn't usually wake up till at least 8 30 between 8 30 and 9 30 and since she woke up so early, she like wanted to go back to sleep at nine. So that, that's odd. But um, right, today is Tuesday. I don't know, I guess I'll just take you through our week. So yesterday we were, had stayed the night at his dad's house, Sunday night. We were at his dad's house um, like Monday until my mom basically came and got me and took me down to the CPS office and you know, we heard all that bad news so she decided to like hang out for a bit we actually went to the zoo and walked around and then she dropped me off back at his dad's house which we were there until chris got home at six and all three of us came back over here to just hang out until our next supervisor tim got here and um, luckily enough for us he's the kind of person that likes to sleep in so this morning i have been able to get some laundry done, um, play with Bobby, like with her own toys in her own little like play space, which is our living room. That's what I keep looking at. Um, so that, that's been nice. And I have this amazing new friend who has like been approved as one of our supervisors. Who's going to take me to my mom's group um that i love to go to and i've missed so much in the last six weeks i got to go last week too um but yeah she's gonna take me and so we get to do that today tuesdays are a good day for me um but oh did i say we slept in our own beds last night that was awesome um but yeah i'll just kind of walk you through the week and show you what it's like to be under supervision when literally all you did was take your baby to the hospital because of some little weird spots on her legs that got diagnosed at the hospital. Okay. 
I'm also going to be trying to be more positive because I was very, very upset yesterday. So with us now probably having to be under supervision for longer, we are trying to increase our supervisor list and I'm gonna start just scheduling people out to try and be home as much as possible because we live right next door to my father-in-law. He's a supervisor. We can always go over there, but I mean, it's not the same as being home. And I've started trying to start like my own little online business thing that I can't really do if I'm not at my house. I don't know, it's... It's hard to explain, but I think people understand. Being home, at least most of the time that you plan to be home, I mean, is like, is important. Um, Hey, Stinker. Cutie. Hi, beautiful. So we got some good news today. We got three people added on our supervisor list. So that's gonna help out. Um, right now, I just got finished eating dinner. Chris's dad is over here. We basically, I went to my mom's group today, which was so nice. Ugh, this is a lot of poop. <clears throat> to get out of the house and do something like actually fun and enjoyable. Um, but yeah, I did that. And the, my new friend who is also a supervisor, she took took me there. Um, and then <laughs> took me over to my mom's work and hung out with me until my mom was out of a meeting. <coughs> So that my mom could hang out and then take me home. Oh no, we got on your clothes a little bit. So yeah, we just had some dinner that I picked up on the way home. Chris's dad is over. I'm gonna play some cards and stuff until our um, friend Tim gets here. Who will he'll stay the night and then you'll go down to sleepy sleepy. <laughs> Hey. 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 Oh man, my cheeks are red. I was just mowing the grass, working outside. Today is what Wednesday, um, and we had. So what? What's going on today? You want to tell them, Bobby? <laughs> You're so cute. So today is Wednesday, and. We, me and Chris both had to work today. Every other Wednesday we both have to work. And we started the day, we had our supervisor, Tim, stay the night. Um, and then we had our other friend come over and watch Bobby. He's also a purpose supervisor. Um, wow, when I went to work, we even had my sister-in-law came over just to kind of help out because this friend had never actually watched her before. And to be honest, I was just a little nervous. You know, someone that's never watched her before watching her. Um, and so we just had my sister-in-law came over just to check and unfortunately she can't be a supervisor because she had watched Bobby like in the two weeks prior to the like incident or whatever. Um, yes, I had to like pan to my fingers to do the quotes because I mean, come on, can we really call it an incident? But um, so I was kind of stressed and so I ended up actually taking like a shorter day. I came home at two and literally everything was fine but I don't know, on days where the plan isn't exactly set super well or like me or Chris isn't watching her, it just, it, I don't know, it makes me kind of stressed out, but literally everything was perfectly fine. Baby girl did not eat her bottle, but that's kind of just been her new thing lately. And yeah, my, um, we have another supervisor on her way over. She's gonna stay the night and she'll just be here until Bobby wakes up in the morning tomorrow. But that means that Bobby has got to spend a whole night and a whole day at her own house. How does that make you feel? It makes you feel like you want your toes. Yes, toes are nice things to have, Bobby girl. <laughs> um, on like a, another note, I, after like crying for three nights straight, basically I decided to start just making changes to try and make myself 
feel better about this whole thing quit wallowing i mean i feel like i needed it after six weeks of trying to kind of like hide my emotions i needed those three nights but now i got it out of my system and ready to start making the best of the life that we have right now with the little girl oh where are you at oh okay so that's been our tuesday wednesday today's wednesday this is really really bright i don't know why it's so bright um so good morning it is now wednesday and wait nope why are my days a day behind today is thursday Last night, yesterday was actually a really good day because our supervisor, our friend of supervisor Casey stayed till my brother and his girlfriend who are actually both supervisors got there. Um, see that CPS? We're doing twice as much as we have to. Two supervisors. Um, just kidding. They just obviously wanted to, I don't know why this is like not correcting the light. Do you ever like not at all have time to get Starbucks and get Starbucks anyways? That's what I'm doing. So all right, yeah, we, they came over and we actually went out to dinner, which with Bobby, which we hadn't done in like, I think since this happened, I mean, we've been getting like so much takeout, just like feeling kind of like we can't do anything outside the house and I don't know, even though it like turned into like a more expensive and less productive evening than what we usually would have on a Wednesday night, it was fun and it was good and it felt like a break and it just puts my mind at ease a little bit knowing that for the last like entire night and day and then again tonight and so far this morning, like Bobby has been at her house. That's, I think, the longest stretch that she's been home. I mean, other than going out to eat, but I mean, you know, that's a short amount of time. But, right, that's the longest stretch she's been home since this whole thing started, and that just makes me feel really good. I think that with us adding more supervisors and trying to plan things a little bit better with a more of like a long-term mindset to this whole thing is gonna make it just feel easier. Um, I feel better today. I did not cry last night for the first time this week, so we're looking good. This is Bobby's attempt at crawling. <coughs> Come get your fishy. Oh, you're so close. Bubby. You're spinning. See, you just gotta use your arms and legs at the same time. You can do it. Oh, and she's back to the head down. She does actually move when she does that. <laughs> it's like all the components of crawling just separated. She reaches out and grabs and then pushes. <laughs> Oh. oh, you got the top! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Yay, Bobby. You big goofy. So I don't really remember where I left off last time, but today is Friday, it's Friday evening. Oh, it's dark in here. And Bobby has been at her papa's house with her dad for the last two days. We've had people come over where she can at least sleep at night here. Um, my mom is staying tonight. We actually have a couple friends come over for dinner and some fun stuff. And yeah, I'm a little, I'm gonna be honest, I'm a little peopled out right now. Um, I think it's 
probably too because like I just got done with my work days and I'm with a lot of different people at work and I don't know there's just been a lot of people in our lives now I'm really excited for our friends coming over we don't get to see them very often but this is definitely one of those times that I kind of wish we could just like decompress at the end of the night you know like not have people here just be me Chris and Bobby or just me and Chris because you know she goes to bed earlier and we do but it's just the struggle I guess so but we have a busy weekend so I think I need to just reset my mind reset my mindset wait reframe my mind I don't really know what I'm trying to say I'm gonna be seeing a lot of people this weekend as well, so. Hopefully, I'm gonna be fine with that. I guess I kinda have to be, okay. Yes. Hey, cutie. Hey, Bobby. Happy Derby Day. You're so cute. We are heading to the store, which might not seem like the most exciting thing in the world, going to the grocery store, but for us, I feel like it is because we haven't really grocery shopped, like really grocery shopped since this whole thing went down. Um, so yeah, that's good. We um, had some fun last night with our friends coming over, but I will still say I'm feeling a little, I don't know if short tempered is the word, but just like less able to deal with people than usual. So gotta work on that because we're around a lot of people. <laughs> okay, so I had a moment. We all knew this was coming. I mean, it was building and last night Bobby had a really bad night and so, you know, it didn't help anything. I feel like ugh, I've been blaming a lot of things that aren't the actual issue like that. The real issue is that I'm just annoyed. Like, I'm annoyed with everyone, and we were trying to get ready to go, and it's frustrating because all we want to do is go to this party that we're supposed to be going to, this derby party. But we have to pack up for a full day's worth of stuff because my mom is taking us to the party, which she we're going to go to her house afterwards so, like, she can have some time at home and a break from everything, and... So I was already stressing out. We were running late. We're like, I'm getting gas now. I mean, we're supposed to be there in what, 10 minutes? It's like 30 minutes away. Um, and they're driving separate because Chris has to work tomorrow morning. But I asked Chris if I could be the one to drive alone because of how I'm feeling. Um, yeah, so whatever. Stressful, getting ready. My mom's out there playing with Bobby and she's just, she plays really, really loudly with her. Oh, the gas is done. Hold on. So right, she like plays really loudly with Bobby, which is like kind of a pet peeve of mine anyways, not her in particular, but literally anyone when they are like basically yelling at Bobby to play with her. I'm like, she's kind of has brand new eardrums, like just take it down a notch. And I feel like, I don't know what it is with people and babies. Like everyone wants to yell at babies, but anyways, I'm getting more mad about that than I actually am. Um. So I'm stressed, like we had a rough night and to be honest, like I just feel judged. Like when we have other people over and Bobby is having a rough night, I feel judged. I mean, I took a shower and she was like screaming, crying and Chris was trying to calm her down and it wasn't working. Like all she really just wanted to eat and like she literally wanted nothing else. And my mom just kind of like watched Chris try and help her. And I know in her like, that's coming from a place where she like also wants to help but doesn't want to like overstep like I'm sure that's where that's coming from but like I can't help but feel like judged feel like she was just like watching us like to see how we handled it I mean not me I can't say this enough I know that this is irrational but it's just exactly what's going through my mind and so right back to today I'm all over the place she's I'm stressed she's like making all these super loud weird noises and I am just I had it I like ran in my room slammed the door started crying all like other things were happening just because I was like stressed I guess like 
I was really stressed about not having anything to wear because I it's derby I wanted to wear a dress but like it's hard to wear a dress when you're nursing because I mean you have to lift the whole thing up to let them nurse and I don't have any nursing clothes so I was like trying to make other things work and just feeling really really bad about myself like when I was trying to put on some other clothes that didn't quite fit or like I didn't think looked good I ended up wearing a dress and I'm just gonna like have to excuse myself to feed her which I kind of hate doing but I mean I don't know you you can't have everything you want right I'm very much have learned that recently um so whatever like that's not I'm like the worst of telling what's going on today other than just like I am so stressed I am so annoyed with everyone I will say except for Chris like I mean you know it's this weird feeling of wanting to be alone but not like alone just with Chris and Bobby alone uh, so so badly it's the naked bobs <laughs> silly girl Oh, is it you in the camera? You're so pretty. So it is, what is today? Sunday. And I am feeling a lot better than the last time that I checked in. Um, Bobby still had like a really rough night last night. Of course, we were at my parents and so um, she wasn't in her own bed or anything. But I don't know, I guess just kind of getting it all out and being able to drive by myself some and hanging out with friends was actually ended up being fun i was a little worried that i would not be like feeling super social but it was really fun um and i don't know i just i'm feeling better of course right now so right we had Stayed at my parents. We actually went to my cousin's graduation where I was with my mom, like our supervisor, and she dropped me off back home. And we went over to Chris's dad's house and we were going to be staying there tonight, but he is coming over for dinner, so we get a few hours at the house, which is nice. But yeah, that's our week, kind of getting things situated for next week. We have supervisors planned for overnights for Monday through Thursday right now, um, and hopefully trying to get some more people up like in the days. And this is Bobby. <laughs> Don't be so camera shy, baby. I think I'll go ahead and end now. So thanks for watching. Um, I guess just stay tuned to see what this crazy life brings us next. Bye.